get a big game over there in London, a nice 9.30 kickoff. It was. It was very nice to be uh, up and at them early. Uh, I mean, pregame shows were going super early here on the Sports Hub over on Patriots.com. Mike Dussault. Oh, well, that's right. You were there. Later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We started uh, just after 8 o'clock, and uh, it was good. It was nice to have some football going on uh, that time of day. Remind reminded me of living on the West Coast where you would get – you know, especially on Thanksgiving, you get, you know, 9 a.m. football all the time or 9.30 football, 10 a.m. at the latest. So, yeah, this is cool. It's fun to watch. And it was fun to watch, especially when the Patriots go out and do something they haven't done all season. Chop that snap to May. Looking right. He oh, tosses awesome. it to a wide open Hasty. Right sideline down. A cut left at the five. Jamaica for the former Jaguar. Dives in the yeah. end zone. Touchdown, Patriots. That's a hell of a read by the young quarterback on his second start. May reads it perfectly, gives him an easy catch, and it's all hasty from there. Makes three guys miss at the four. Patriots open up with six. Open up with, wait a second, open up like opening drive six? Yes, for the first time this season. First time in 11 games. <laughs> if you, if, yes, if you choose. Go back to last season. If you choose to go back, yeah. I mean, first downs, a touchdown. The extra point up seven nothing early on the Jags yesterday. One one other stat: it's only the fourth time all season they've gotten a first down on their first drive. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that's how bad it's been. That was pointed out yes. several times, but you know, there's a there's a new guy in a quarterback, so the Jags uh, stopped on their opening possession. Patriots get the ball again. Joey Sly coming on for the field goal attempt from 41 yards, right hash mark. Joe Cardona back in the lineup despite a calf injury. Snaps it to Berenger. Ball placed down. Line drive kick. Sailor to the uprights is good. Nice. And the Patriots have added to their lead. They're out to a 10-0 advantage over Jacksonville here in London. It's but, going to be a turkey shoot. <laughs> nah, this, very subtly, this is where the mistake started. Well, It should have been a touchdown. What happened was May went back to pass City So and it right guard gets beat. I thought it was City Sue. The uh, telecast kept saying City yeah, Sue. I know. City City Sue uh, got beat. Pass rush in Drake May's face. His pass to Kendrick Bourne, who was wide open, just out of his reach. If he wasn't hurried, it would have been an easy first down. They'd probably go in and score. But instead, they have to settle for a field goal. And this, Hardy, is where the game turned. Well, uh, the Jags would answer with a touchdown, which is fine. It's 10-7. Um, they would then get a stop against the Patriots. But if you want to know where it really turned. Lawrence with a play pitch. He's got a deep drop. And he's got time. Stepping up. Loads up. There's a long ball. Thomas has separation. And he's going to make the catch against Gonzalez, who makes the tackle. But a long ball to the 20. And the Jaguars are in business. It's a good read by Trevor Lawrence. Christian Gonzalez just gets beat here. He had outside leverage. But he had the ability to potentially make it up. We've seen him make plays like that before. He got beat. Trevor Lawrence connecting with Brian Thomas on a 58-yard reception. Thomas, by the way, 5 of 5 on his targets for the day. Uh, And that 58 yards set up a touchdown for the Jaguars to go up 14-10. And that was your ball game. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. And that then, was it. <laughs> how, I mean, how many times did the Jaguars throw in the second half? They were in the Twice. football. 18 <laughs> straight plays. That 18 runs in a row. Okay, so that's the... That's, Most between the tackles, by the way. All right. There's three things that you can say about this game. And one is a positive and two are negative. All right. One's a positive. One's a positive to me. And two is a negative. Uh, the most embarrassing thing about that game was not that you couldn't score against the league's worst pass defense or anything that particularly, or that you couldn't run the ball. Could not run the ball. Uh, the, the, the most embarrassing thing that happened is that they just ran and they ran and they got a lead and they just ran the ball. They didn't throw again. They just ran and ran and ran and you couldn't stop them and they didn't care. Teams are pl- like te- the Texans did the same thing. Like teams are playing you differently. They're they're getting a lead and then just sitting. It's like it, it's it, it's just a like almost like a a prevent offense at that point. What the worst part about it is, it might be a prevent offense, but it's a prevent offense that still moves the ball down the field and scores on you. 
That's the thing. There's one thing about sitting on a lead. The other part of it is you're so bad, the other team's trying to sit on the lead, and they're still scoring on you, which yes. is what happened yesterday. Well, Trevor Lawrence was 9 of 10 on his pass. Jets did that, too, half. by the way. Sorry. He, yes. Yeah. He ended up attempting 20 passes in the game, so it was pretty evenly split. The difference was he stopped completing everything in the second half. They're like, well, they can't stop the run. Well, just run the ball. We'll just run the ball and they'll run it. Up, we'll run it on first down and we'll pick up 12 yards. All right. Another first down. Should we air? No, we're not going to open up. We'll run it again on first down and we'll pick up eight and put ourselves in second and short. And they, as, as long as they're the, the Patriots defense was unable to do anything to stop the run. Why put anything in jeopardy by throwing the ball when there were a couple of incompletions that Trevor Lawrence threw in the second half? They're like, fine, we just won't throw it. And when they did throw it, they weren't throwing it downfield. I mean, the second half, what? Jacksonville, 17-play drive, 11 minutes and 24 seconds. That was the one where they got stuffed on fourth down deep in Patriots territory. But that was the way the game was. They were, I think 16 of those plays were runs. Yeah, all right. So that's, that's what's truly terrible for your team. Number two, anyone who would hire Bill Belichick is out of his mind. Th- this team is this bad. Well, Elliot Wolf didn't do anything, and they they, they really screwed the draft up. Th- this last draft, I mean, Polk is a problem. We'll get, we'll get into it. Yeah. But but he's not good, and he's a problem. Um, the the Osborne signing was he's a problem. He's been terrible. You should have heard Scott talk about him. I know he had a. He had a touchdown yesterday, but you should have heard Scott talking about him during the broadcast. Um, you know the the moves they made, but whatever. Like this was, it is what it is. This was this year wasn't supposed to be that way, but this is the team Bill, Belichick built. It is, it is, it is. He had twenty over twenty years of of building this, and and, and so what did he win four games last year? Yep. So you know, it, it, so maybe. If they win two games, because I got news for you, they're not winning four. But if they if they win two, three games, sure, Belichick would have gotten you another win. But this roster is not as good as that roster that he had last year, just because of attrition and in, in trades that they made, in injury. But this is on Belichick. Yes, John. Let me ask you: If Barmore was healthy and playing, if Juwan Bentley was healthy and playing, if Jabril Peppers hadn't gotten arrested and was playing. How many more wins do you think this team would have? None. And I agree with you, by the way, which is why I brought it up. Yeah, none. I, I don't think, I mean, maybe. Maybe Seattle. Maybe Seattle. So yeah, maybe, maybe you Seattle. have one more yeah, win. Whatever. It, it, you're yeah. not getting the over the four and a half. No, you uh, the, Over the four and a half win total. And, and I'll, I'll tell you why. In direct relation to this game, the reason why I don't think it changes your record all that much is because it doesn't stop plays like this from happening. Oh. Barringer punts a boomer to carry Washington inside the five. He takes it from the right hash mark. He's got room to the 15, 20, oh, up, up the middle to the 40. He's going to beat Barringer with a cut left to the 40. Go under the 30. No and- to the 20, past the 10, and he's going to celebrate by falling backward into the end zone. Nest T right. plunge, a 96-yard punt return, so that doesn't change with having all those guys in. And there's... there's right. uh, I, I just want to get to one last thing. But, but wait, go ahead. Well, this is this it goes back to what John was saying about uh, when, when the Patriots got the stop uh, and the Jags decide to go for it on fourth down. They're up 25-10. You make it a three-score game, but instead... They're going to go for it on fourth down. They turn the ball over on downs. They they give you points right there by not putting them on the board. How do you capitalize on that? By marching down the field, scoring a touchdown, and then doing this idiocy. Patriots keep the offense on the field. They go for two. Osborne has to get RPO? set three to the left, one to the right. May takes the Got step, it. throws oh, it to the right. No. Receiver fell down. Got him. He had Jalen Polk, Polk at the goal line. Oh. He slipped. And fell to the turf. It'd have been wide open. It's not a it's not a seventeen or eighteen point game. It is a fifteen point game. All right. So you're going to need presumably fifteen points, a touchdown, and a two point conversion at some point. Why teams insist on doing it first and more. putting themselves in the hole? I don't know. Because I because you have understand. to, and it gives you two chances. Because if you don't get it the next time, you can get it the next time. I, I don't does that doesn't bother me at all. It bothered se- me. I would have done it with seven minutes left in the it game. It doesn't matter because it you does. It, no because you need one. You you're gonna need one. Right. All right. Here's why it matters. You you just go 
you kick the extra point, you're down eight points. Mm -hmm. Okay? You only need one more touchdown Mm -hmm. and a two-point conversion. If you stop them and you score again, you have all the momentum. You have all the momentum. And I believe in momentum in games. I believe it's it's a thing. And to try and get it the second time, when you have the momentum of having scored twice and gotten a stop, I like your chances better of scoring a two-point conversion the second time as opposed to that time. Okay, well, that's just, I mean, that's just your, that's, you're, you're kind of guessing on the emotion of the team. I don't think missing a two-point conversion is lets a team, the air out of a team, nor do I think making an extra point has any effect on a team. So, I, I mean, I would have done the same thing. The team, is, I, the team is down nine. They know they have to score twice as opposed to once. If you no, if you yeah, but if you you need to get the extra, you need that two point conversion at some point. Yeah. So, but so what's it still doesn't make any sense. If you need the two point conversion at some point, if you kick the extra point there, you still need a two point conversion. Yes. So you're still going to have to go for a two point conversion. All you're saying is you're more likely to make it the second touchdown than you are the first touchdown. What I'm saying is you put yourself behind the eight ball by knowing that well even if we score another touchdown here we're probably not going to win. Oh, I don't I don't I I I and obviously the metrics say to go for it there. I mean, that's obviously what they say is to go for the two. Uh no, I I don't have a problem with that at all. I I have a problem with it especially given the fact that they had just gifted you not kicking a field goal going for it on on fourth down, like, okay, let's capitalize on this. Let's not look this gift horse in the mouth. Let's go down. Let's take our seven points and then take our chances on getting a stop, marching down again, scoring a touchdown, and then we'll go for two. At that point, Uh, I I thought you were only going to get the ball once after that. I thought you were only going to get the ball once because the defense was never going to stuff them for three and out. So you had one drive left after that score. You kick the extra point and and, and that way you'd be down eight with seven minutes left in the game. I I don't know. And you hadn't scored since your second drive. I I mean, you're going to need it. Again, I, I, I don't know. What 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 the difference is to to be honest? The difference with you. is you hadn't scored since the second drive of the game when you finally get back there, and now you're just gonna you're gonna be willy nilly with an extra point. Ah, we don't need that. Well, you know what? We'll put we'll pick it up later. Yeah, put off the. Well, lower they were right. Play. I mean, they didn't need the point. I mean, they got beat thirty two to sixteen, and I don't think it's because they went for two. I just hated it in the moment, and, and and whenever I see it, I don't get it unless it is. All right, you're down sixteen. You need to do it both times. Fine, mm-hmm. that's different. But to go for it the first time around, well, that way uh, we know what we need. Well, all right, you missed it, so now you know what you need, and what you need is two scores instead of one. I agree. That sucks. Well, Volan thinks that they went made the right decision. Well, good for him. Uh, yeah, I and I <laughs> he's wrong. <laughs> As I peruse his article. <laughs> yes. So me I, and Volan are on the same page, and you know what that means. Well, yeah. <laughs> You're a superstar. Uh-huh. That's what that means. I yeah. like I like the first comment uh, that was posted underneath uh, Volan's assessment of that uh, because he said essentially what you're saying. There's, they're still down nine, but now they know they need two scores and have 822 left. Had they waited until the end of the game to go for two and fail, they wouldn't have had enough time to make it up. And then the first comment is, it's better to be down two scores than one score in a game you've struggled to score. <laughs> <laughs> well, regardless, uh, I mean, that's, what? That, that is, uh, you know, a debatable thing, but it, it, it obviously didn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> so we went over the two. Th- I, I have three points from yesterday. A, uh, the most embarrassing thing, and it's going to be hard to get out of him. We'll talk about the repercussions coming up at seven. They're already happening. And it kind of goes against a lot of the beat writers' beliefs that this wouldn't. This the way you're losing games is not the way you want to lose them. You lose games. You want to be building towards something, though, at the end of the year. Fine, but we've done that. The second one, John's very got a lot to say today. I can see his mouth opening. B is Bill Belichick it should never get another job. This 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 team is terrible. It would be terrible if he was coaching. And at least they're doing something positive. And by the way, Bill Belichick had a third-year starter at the, at the quarterback position last year. Now, the, the good news is is Drake May. Uh, I watch an awful lot of football and have seen a lot of young quarterbacks. Uh, Drake May is, A, 
physically everything. He, he can evade the rush, which, believe me, some quarterbacks can't at all. He can evade the rush and extend plays, which no matter what anyone tells you, no matter what anyone says, if they say that's not necessary, it's that's asinine. That's asinine. You're seeing a 40-year-old quarterback in another city that can't move, and he's getting killed, and the team is not going to make the playoff. He can extend plays, avoid the rush. You know, he can hold the ball for more than two seconds without crumpling into the ground. Uh, you've seen he's got a great arm. He's got great touch on long passes. And he's never been overwhelmed. Like, he's never been overwhelmed. And that is the most important part. So, uh, thank your lucky stars that you Drake May, you drafted Drake May. And he's, he's, I mean, he, who's better than him on the team? No, no. He's, <laughs> I mean, like, who's no, better you, than you, him on the team? I tell you right now, the only guy out there you could say you, you have a better football player in right now is Hunter Henry. And he was he was excellent yesterday. Uh, aside from the the false start, that Hunter was, Henry was really good. That yesterday. was a killer. That false start penalty was yeah, a but, killer. But he's, I mean, he's. Yeah, but that, much that doesn't the, make him a bad player. Yeah, that was. I mean, he had a, he had a bad penalty. I mean, that Drake May had the false start last week. A, a false start at quarterback. You don't see that all that often. So uh, let's uh, you know, right. let's just no, let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater because he had you know one offside call, um, or one false start. I agree with you, Drake May is the positive right now for this team. Beyond that, this team's got real issues. And to hear Gerard Mayo yesterday say in the in the post-game press conference, 12, if you could please, um, which is in stark contrast to what he said just a couple of weeks ago about this very same football team. Disappointing game. We came out, we started fast. What I would say is, look, we're a soft football team across the board. Soft football team. Yeah, <laughs> that's, there's no more there, damning there, insult from a head coach to a team. That's it. That that's as bad as it gets. Well, they could right call there. them yellow. Yeah, <laughs> like they were cowards. That's yeah. right, coward of the county. Yeah. Well. Uh, but I mean, they are soft. In evidence that here's the concerning thing about the Patriots: you knew they were going to lose a lot of games. You knew they were going to lose. Drake May is a great positive, which trumps everything else. But if Mayo's going to be the coach of this team, and I don't think if you're a Patriots fan, you should really even care at this point. Like he'll be the coach next year, but you're not going to go to you're not going to the playoffs next year anyway. Hopefully, you build towards something. It, the most important thing is happening. You drafted the right quarterback. That's the most important thing. But when a team doesn't have to throw the ball against you, and it's a, it's systematic. You know this. The, in the Texans game, the Texans got up 14 nothing, and then they just went into like a prevent offense mode. The, th- that's what Jacksonville did yesterday. We talked about it. Jacksonville, when it got up 22 to 10, they got the, the punt return. They just went, they just went, we're we're gonna we're not gonna put ourselves in any danger of turning the ball over. Right. You can't stop us. And as a coach, that's gotta be the worst thing to look at. Cause you can accept someone you know someone throwing it all over the field or like you know one-handed catches or contested catches you can all of that but when they line up and just you know they're going to run right and they run it and they they're picking up 4 or 5 yards a carry it, that's what's got to kill you as a coach because that's that's the most embarrassing thing you guys aren't ready you couldn't get those guys ready cuz as an NFL player you should be able to stop that. Like 11 guys on defense should be able to stop that. This isn't a guy, you know, this isn't, this isn't even their starting running back. Like this isn't a kid, Barry Sanders running around in the backfield and then breaking off like miracle 30 no, yard runs. No, these are runs up the middle that you should be able to stop as a professional football player. And you, and you as a team, this speaks to what you were just talking about. You as a team, if you're the Patriots, you're making the same mistakes every week. So one there's always one special teams mistake. There is even even on the last possession where it was third down and two, you had a holding penalty followed by a sack, and it, all of a sudden it's fourth and twenty six, and you're trying to complete that. I, Jacksonville kicked a field goal, I think, at the end where a running back, I, it wasn't Bigsby, it was his replacement, wor- worked out to the left hand side, slipped, 
and fell down. Otherwise, he would have scored a touchdown. Yep. Then there was a pass towards the corner of the end zone. Christian Kirk had beaten Jonathan Jones, but it was too far to his outside, so he landed with one foot out of bounds. And so Jacksonville was forced to kick a field goal. It turns out that it's the opponents making mistakes more than anything you did that stops them. Yeah. And uh, by the way, another prevent offense, the Jets in week three. They got up. They were only won 24 to three, but we agreed the morning afterwards it could have been 35 or 42. Yep. They're just, and even though they had success in the passing game, they're like, what's the point? We're going to get, we're going to run the ball 39 times. We're going to hand it off to Bigsby 26 times, and we're just going to. You know, bleed some clock, and if we if we score again, great. But we'll be fine. All the hallmarks of 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 a tough team, this team doesn't have right now. What do tough teams do? Well, they might get beat, but they tackle well. Nope. Well, they 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 hang in there and they figure out ways to run the ball. Nope. You had thirty eight rushing yards yesterday, as a team for the Patriots. Thirty eight. Think I. <laughs> And 18 of those came from Drake May. And the leadership <laughs> now. You you don't have a veteran quarterback. You don't, uh, don't have a quarterback that's a captain. The leadership, for instance, Jabril Peppers, captain, arrested. Jawan Bentley, captain, not playing. So the leadership in that locker room isn't there. That's the other part of the problem. And you have a first-year head coach trying to figure it out. This is, this is a harmonic convergence of disaster for this team right. right now. But, but yeah. oddly positive because of Drake May. You, yes. you do have a quarterback. There's nothing There's... more important than developing this yeah, kid. The, this the kid most is important good. thing is happening. We have to break. The most important thing is happening, though. Yes, yes yeah. you are Very correct. True. But, but uh, Mayo just might not be the coach for this team. All right. Uh, we'll be back. And who cares? Really? I mean, who cares? It's not our money. I mean, you know, if they – but but they – they're not going to get rid of him this offseason, but next year might be Mayo's last, co- last as the coach of the Patriots. Because I wouldn't stick around and just let them. If this is how the team continues to play, and it's not again about wins and losses, they could have gone, they could go one and sixteen, and I'd be like, all right, it's the talent issue. As long as May has enough requisite talent, and they don't do something stupid with an OC or quarterback coach and start to ruin him, yeah, fine. Yeah, and Van Pelt's going to be gone at the end of the season. All right, they're going to have to make major uh, coordinator changes. All right, we'll be back uh, in just a moment. Uh, because well, further evidence why Mayo not might not be here for long was the team's behavior. Uh, well, I guess on the flight back, uh, or maybe uh, right when they landed, <laughs> I might have even been in the locker room after. The yeah, game. a lot of Jesus. stuff going on. Uh, they made a big, big mistake in the second round of that draft. Oh, and by the way, you made a big, big mistake in the second round of the draft when you took Tyquan Thornton over Pickens. Who catches balls? He was pretty good last night, Pickens. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Just thrown in the air, and he'll come down with it with one arm. If you like that clip, and how could you not? Check out more videos from Toucher and Hardy here. Point slightly up and to the left. For more Patriots analysis and opinion, hit this playlist. Point slightly down and to the left. And for the latest from the Sports Hub, download at 98.5thesportshub.com.